fast life, fast life. Yeah. Come on here. See my boy Jay Scott out here, man. See what's going on. See he be doing his thing. Oh shit, okay, okay. All right, yeah, Mr. Jay Scott. What's up, baby? What's going on, man? You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man. That's how you doing this man. Oh, oh, I know how you can handle this thing. What's going on, baby? I'm good, baby. How you feeling, man? I'm love, man. Man, listen. I'm alive and well. Man, I see what you're doing right here. Okay, hey, listen, man. You know, this is what I do, podcasts. I come in here and talk to people who are doing great things. Gotcha. People, to people, I think this is miraculous. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I know this is spur of the moment thing. Yeah, just walk up, up, whatever. But I just want the people to know about you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You don't mind, do you? I don't mind. Man, come on. Let's talk to the people, man. Oh, man. Let me hobble my way on. <laughs> We got on boss, man. What, what gave you your love for basketball? We just gonna keep shooting, you know what I'm saying? You know what gave me like, love for basketball? What gave you your love for basketball, man? Man, you know a funny story. Yeah, talk to me. Man, why I'm bricking. Okay, uh, ain't nothing wrong with that. But hey, first, listen, I see, first, you got, I, I see you got the grind um, basketball retriever, though. You gotta have a grind yeah, okay, machine, come on, man. man. Cause I don't wanna be chasing these motherfuckers. Hey, I feel you, I feel you. I feel you know, back you. in the day, you shoot them up. Man, nah. come on, run all around the tree and everything. Nah. Grind machine, that was my first. situation. Oh, okay, oh, okay, I like that. I like how you got a little bit hey, of form man. on that thing. But go hey. and tell me the story, though. I mean, honestly, my first love was really baseball and what? gymnastics, bro. Oh, come on now. Yeah, I man, there you go, splash. Oh, okay, I see what you're yeah, doing. I but, see what uh, you're doing. But no, nah, I mean, it was after, it was probably after and one, and all that kind okay. of hit the right. scene, and then Allen Iverson, and then the Jordan Come on era. now, AI, okay, you know okay. I'm okay. Allen Iverson was one of my favorite players of all right. time, man. So, Growing up around that, it kind of, it kind of, it kind of gave my love, you know. Right. Okay. To, uh -huh. to want to be, you know, one of those right type of individuals. Uh huh. Okay. So, as a kid, I just really wanted, you know, as most kids, want to go right. to the NBA. All right. Cool. You know, sometimes that's, that don't, it don't always work that way, but that was definitely my passion to go to the league. Mm -hmm. So where did you hoop at in high school? I went to Madison High School. Where's that at? Madhouse, Southside, man. Okay. On oh, oh, Texas. I'm not from here. They ain't from here. They on, they from oh, across man. the world. They don't oh, know. Oh man, home you know Texas, man. Southside, you know, it's okay. by NRG, it's by Timmons NRG. Hello, let me see. You know what I'm saying? No more. You know, boom. We got a oh, rack over oh, here. Shoot, you know, yeah. we racking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, so so you got you you, right you from Texas, out of Texas, right? Yeah, I'm from uh, born and raised in Houston, Texas, man. Born and okay, raised born in East Texas. Texas. Okay, got it, got it. You East Texas. I'm from North Carolina. Oh, you from North Carolina? Yeah, I'm from North Carolina, man. I'm, I'm a transplant here. I've been here for like uh, three years now. Three years? Yeah, I'm a transplant. Transplant. Yeah. I like Carolina, though, man. Yeah, no, I know that's right, because we, we hoop over there. Yeah, yeah. Come on, school. no, no, like we don't be hooping. I just want to go to Duke. We get down. Come on, go have a good turn. Those are my schools. Ain't nothing wrong with being up there. But yeah, I went to Madison High School. Uh huh. Played there, but I took an academic scholarship to UT. UT? Okay. Yeah, I got an academic scholarship to UT. I was, okay. I was pretty smart, man. I was, you know, mm -hmm. one of those nerds, you know. Right. Ain't nothing wrong so with that. So I went there. Uh huh. Uh, tried to walk on there. Right. You know, it, it went the way it went. Okay. Politics and stuff like that, but uh, right. I was able to. To try out and stuff, and that was when DJ Augustine and that was when Katie, right? When Katie left, and okay. we had uh, AJ Abrams and all of them was there. Ah. Dexter Pittman, Dexter Pittman. Okay. There. So I learned a lot though. Right. I, learned, I learned a lot about. I get it. I got you. Oh, okay. I, I want to keep you keep you in frame, but it's all good. Oh, my bad. Yeah. So I learned a lot. I learned a lot uh -huh. through that process about not giving up. Cause sometimes, mm. sometimes when things happen to you, right. you kind of want to quit. I get it. You know I what I'm saying? It. And um, seeing, seeing myself quit, that's something I love two times. Right. But things didn't go how I wanted to. Ah. It kind of, it throws you back. Right. But it also teaches you a lesson. Okay. You know, so I always say, like, fa failure doesn't exist unless you quit. Mm. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, if you place that, the I and fail, right. or the L, you just fall. Okay. When you fall, what you do, you get up. Okay. You got to right. keep getting up. You know what right. I'm saying? So from there. Uh huh. I found the love again. Right. As it splashes. Mm hmm I found the love again. Right. And placed in my profile a little bit. Okay, where'd you play at? Uh, it, was, it was a team called Texas Spirit. Okay. This was like some years ago. This was like 2015. Right. You know, it's kind of different now. Right. But uh, did that for a little bit. And I've always went back to my high school to kind of, you know, help out with the team and stuff like right. that. So. Doing that kind of gave me love of, of teaching, I guess, Will. Right. But it was after Hurricane Harvey. Mm. When I lost everything Hurricane Harvey, right. it was like God's way of telling me, you need to do that. Because okay. I'm focusing on the job, right. making the money, when my passion is really basketball, when mm. my purpose is really to teach right. and things like that. So after I lost everything Hurricane Harvey, mm -hmm. 
you know, it forced me to pursue it. And right. then right after that, a year later, I got into a motorcycle accident. What? Okay, well, yeah. sure. let's talk about it. Take a shot. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, so, we're gonna, we're gonna have a seat and talk about that right there. Uh, splash. Okay. All right. Let me, let me take a seat right here. I bet. Let me, let me hold that rock right there. You know, I, 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 used, to do, I, I used to do a little something with this thing. I don't know, like it hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I say it used to do a little something with this thing right here. You know what I'm saying? So, you said you had a uh, motorcycle accident, right? Yes, sir. So, what, what year was that, man? 2018. I'll you know what I'm saying? And, and we're not going to hop on this because the thing that's miraculous to me is um, it's what you're doing now, but I at least want to have the setup. No, nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, right, well, before my accident, I was working at, I was a general manager at Pickup USA Fitness. Okay. Which is in Houston, it's the, it's the basketball purpose gym. Okay, got Specifically it. Specifically for basketball. Right. From that, I was able to gain a job with the semi-pro women's team while I was able to train them, whatever right. the case is. This is going pretty good. Oh, y'all good. You can shoot. Uh, yeah, you might want to turn it. Yeah, you probably want to turn it. But <laughs> Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, you gotta pull it from the back. Pull it from the back. So let it from the back. Yeah, so um anyways, so I was mentioned for that and then when I when I came to training for that team, right. it kinda um things were going good but then it got stagnant. Okay. And got so it. I prayed mm. to reach more people. I prayed to impact more people. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, I got into my accident. Okay, so, so set it up. So what happened? What, what was that day? I know it was, it was a no, normal day. It was a normal day, man. Right. It, was, it was actually TSU homecoming week. Uh -huh. And I hit my homie up. I ride motorcycles. I've been, I love motorcycles. Okay, got it. What, so what I, type of bike you have at the time? At the time, it was a Jixxon 1000. Okay, okay. You had 1,000. A little light on the weight, but it was good. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, but it's all good. Hey, everybody ain't going to be the big boy East Coast stuff. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, man. Hey, you it's, know? Not, it's not about the bike. It's about the rider. Hey, you ride about that. You ride about that. I hit him up, I said, hey, bro, it's, it's, it's your homecoming week, let's go to the scene, be like, whatever. Okay. He's like, bet I'll be out there by 11 o'clock, whatever. Mm. So I went to this place called, uh, it was called Live Oak. It was Pat. Right. Wasn't nobody in, so we went across the way to Faces. Okay. Have a good time there. I don't drink when I'm on a bike, though. Right. I had no liquor, anything yeah. like that. So it was like 1.30, we came out. We was like, we want to catch the let out at the other spot. Okay. Right? So right. we pulled up. It was cool, and then... We went and got gas and went our separate ways. Yeah. At this time, there was no construction mm. on the freeway, so I had to get on the freeway. Okay. So my mom like, cool, I'll take the long way home. You know, right. it's a cool, chill night. Right. So I'm getting on, and I know this is called driving crazy, or whatever. So I said, I'm gonna take this exit. I'm gonna take the long way home. It's, okay. it's like 59 exit where you take the ramp that goes up and go around. Right. Right when I was getting over, he was exiting at the last second. Mm. I had two choices to either mm. let him hit me mm. or dodge him. So I decided to dodge him. Dodge him, yeah. Because if he hit me, he probably would have pinned me. Right. So I dodged him. Mm -hmm. I veered. I ran into the side railing. My right leg wrapped around the railing. Oh. Threw me off the overpass. And then my bike went 500 yards out of the way. So I was thrown 500, I mean, I was thrown like 80 feet, 70, 80 feet off the overpass. Off, away from your leg? Yeah, so off the, off the. Right. Boom, right. off the. Boom, off the. Off of, yeah. And um, I shattered my left arm, so I have a. From elbow to wrist, I shattered my left arm, so right. I had a rod in there, nine screws. Right. Broke my right wrist. I lost nine pints of blood. Mm. And they didn't find me for like three hours. Are you serious? I happened like 2.30 in the morning. They didn't find me like 5.30, 6 a.m. Oh, man. It was like 10, 15 more minutes, I'd have been done. Mm. You know? And uh, were you conscious at the time? Or I was conscious. conscious. Or you were coming was, in and out? I was in shock, but I guess I was conscious the whole time. Get out of here. What I thought was a dream was real. I was laying there trying to put my leg up. Right. Screaming for help, but I thought it was a dream until I woke up to ICU. Yeah, when I woke up at ICU, so I, uh, I knew that had to be kind of experience to wake up in ICU and to be in that state of mind. Man, I'm a, I'm a little stubborn, man. I feel like God puts things on you that you can really handle. Okay. If that makes sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when I woke up, the first thing I asked about, it wasn't where am I? It mm -hmm. was with my bike okay. Where's your bike okay? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. True biker, true yeah, biker. And then after that, right. I mean, basically, I was like, you know, would I be able to get a prosthesis or whatever? That's like, yeah, baby. I was like, cool. And from there, that was it. Right. Now, I didn't know what to do at that point, mm -hmm. but I had someone came and visited me, somebody out that was my trainer at the time. Right. He was like, you gotta show your story, show people what it's gonna look like when you get back on top. Right. And then my sister gave me a DVD of my pastor saying, what happens to you mm -hmm. is not always for you. Mm -hmm. Mind you, two weeks ago I prayed for impacting people. Right. I got into the accident. 
And from that, I was able to impact more people. Come on now. So a lot of times, my message is, a lot of times, God right. is going to give you what you deserve, but not mm -hmm. in the form that you recognize. Right. You know, you got to have the discernment to understand, like, what you're going through is meant for you. Right. But exactly. to show the people you can get through anything, you know? 100% do anything, yeah. man. You so, know, so that kind of brings me now. So you, you went through that process. So the thing I want to focus on now is you doing what you're doing right now. Yeah. Like, this is a beautiful thing. You know, I, I, I met you probably not even two weeks ago. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And two weeks ago, you know, I was just, I was amazed. One with your spirit. That's, that's what it connected you. Respect. Your spirit. You know, and I was like, man, I said, here's the dude is, he, you know what I'm saying? He's making things happen. He ain't, he, he got his and he's hooping, still talking junk because he's a true ball looker. We ain't gonna never stop talking shit. Can't you know stop talking, can't, can't you stop You know, and, and so it's, um, what made you feel like you, to do this, to, to coach people and, and you know, man. somebody, in fact, I know you got clients, but you got a client here that's about to go overseas to play ball. Right. Like, what made you really want to do that and, and how was that? I ran from it at first. Mm, what? Yeah, because it's like, in my mind, I couldn't play ball like I wanted to no more. Right. You know, so I had this kid. Shout out to uh, little CJ. Okay, shout out to CJ. I don't know and, where you at, uh, CJ. His mom and reached out to me about training, and I was, right. at first I was skeptical, on, not mm. because in my mind I didn't feel like I was able to demonstrate what I needed to based on okay. my situation. Right. They kept asking because I worked with his cousins pre like some years mm -hmm. before. Is that on your that music on your phone? Uh, hey Joy, that's your music. That's your music. He turned it down. He turned it just a little, just a little bit. Right. No, you ain't have to go that low. You do it right there. Yeah. yeah, so, um, yeah, I wasn't, I didn't think I would be able to demonstrate what I needed to based right. on my situation. Yeah. So I was running from it, but, but God mm. kept pushing me towards it. Right. So I finally said, okay, whatever, let's do it. And um, from there, right. when we locked in, I don't know, it just felt right. Mm, okay. You know, okay. it just felt right. And so from there, I gathered another client. Okay. And then the one that said, now we reconnected and right. we started working again. So right. I think it was more so God was showing me that I'm going to use what you went through. Mm. I'm going to use what wow. most people use as an excuse not to do something to right. show people that, like I said, it doesn't matter. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when kids or when people see me on the court shooting, not missing or missing, whatever, they're like, oh, he's not making no excuses. I can't make no excuses. Exactly. So I got to be in here every day. If he can do it, I can do right. it. Right. And see, that, and that's why I see what you do is so powerful. You get what I'm saying? Because there ain't no excuses. You get what I'm saying? You're showing. You're, you're, a, you're a living, walking example of there is no excuse. You right. could have pouted about the whole situation. You could have just kind of like, ah, I ain't doing nothing. Right. You know, I can't. But you out here, you man, you're doing your thing. You. You're training from kids to professional athletes. I mean, that's just simply yeah, it's amazing, just, Oh, bro. God. It's, all, it's, it's always, in, it was all in his plan. It wasn't right. my plan. You know, my plan was to go to the NBA, but he, right. he had a different way. Mm, but this is the NBA, what you're doing. Yeah, uh, honestly, yeah, Because yeah. It's, a, it's something that can go a lifetime, bro. Yeah. You know, and no offense, the NBA is it's, it's a short time period. Of course. But what you're doing and the effect of it is a lifetime, man. And I already see just these big, great things with you, bro, yeah, because it's, it's, it's crazy. You How know, did you get cooked up with the grind basketball, man? How did that happen? <laughs> it's the, the craziest story is, man, right. so I watch a lot of Shark Tank. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, being a new entrepreneur, mm. I watch a lot of Shark Tank just to learn stuff, right? right. And then he popped on, I'm like, what's this grind stuff? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. he said, he, I said, he's from Houston, I don't, I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy, right. Who is this guy? I'm like, man, grind shit. I was like, man. After I watched I was like, I gotta meet this dude. Okay. Don't know how, don't know when. Right. I was like, I gotta meet him. I guess mm. I gotta meet him. So what's funny is the guy that's actually here right now that I train, right. he connected me with another guy mm. from working out. He said, because he wanted to work out with me too. Okay. So cool, I was like, he can work out, we can work out. So we got connected, we working out. Come to find out, his best friend was Thomas, who was the owner of Run. Get out of here. Crazy. So I was like, hey man, bro, like, who know his name Bryce? Shout out to Bryce. Right. And Bryce, great, great, right. right. Mm -hmm. And the guy that connected me to Bryce is Joy. Shout out to Joy. Mm. Connected me to Bryce. Come Bryce on now. Connected me to Thomas. But it's just crazy. You never know who you're gonna meet. Exactly. But you gotta treat people right. You because do. if you don't, when you meet them, they're not gonna want to introduce you to nobody else either. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So from there, he connected me with Thomas. And then with Thomas, it was like he's done a lot for me already, mm. and I've only known him since February. Are you serious? Seriously, I don't see, know see, that, that, see, that's genuine connection. Genuine, man. It's like, genuine connection, man. He really, he really showed, he's showing me, clearly mm. showing me how to right. use my brand the right way, how to 
you know, impact the right way based on what he's done with Grimes. Right. So being connected with him was, was a blessing. Like I said, but I manifested it though. I believe right. in my heart I was going to meet him. Right. I didn't know how. Didn't know how. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to believe whatever it is you feel like you want to do, you got to believe it. Man, and I'm telling you, in the same way, when you came over to talk to me earlier today, I had never met him. Um, and I haven't physically met his father, but me, two years ago, me and his father had a conversation, mm. you know, and um, and so, in fact, I tried to buy one of them at the time, but they hadn't had the shipping stuff yet, right. so they didn't have any, because everything was everything was back ordered. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but long story short, things went on, man, and then, I, you know, I come over here to do some stuff with another part of mine. And now you next And then, I, boom, I, I walk in and I'm like, grind up, get out of here. You know hey, what I'm saying? Man, God moves in And you see ways. how it happens? Yeah, he moves in mysterious ways, man. Sometimes he, we, we, sometimes we feel like what's going on in our life right. is, is bad, but what he's doing is he's he's reshaping the path. Mm, come on now. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what Because you was going one way, which is going to take you away from what you needed to be around. Right. But he reshaped the path to where, okay, I don't need to be here. He's not going to do it this way. Let me push right. him this way. So it go back this way, then boom, right. now everything aligns. Mm. You know, so everything has its purpose and its place. Everything has it. You gotta man. believe though, that's the biggest thing. And a lot of people don't do that. Nah. You, you have to believe and you have to have action with the belief. Some people just wanna believe and just, oh, I'm gonna wait for it. Faith that's without works work. is dead. All day, man. You gotta have the faith, but you gotta have the work behind the faith. Man. That's like saying, I wanna make a million dollars, or I wanna right. be some financial statement, but you're sitting at home on the couch. Right. That don't work. <laughs> but you can't work all day and don't believe that you're gonna get the, you know what I'm saying, where you right. wanna get to. Exactly. They gotta go both hand in hand, you feel right. me? So, yeah, it's, I learned a lot, man. This actually taught me a lot. Mm, okay. Perseverance, it's talking about everything, man. Well, check this out. I'm not gonna hold you, but I, I wanna catch some stuff with you training and your guy. Not you don't sure. mind, so I can definitely let the people see what goes down, you not know what I'm saying? Sure. And um, of course, I'm gonna be talking to him a little later because one, he has a miraculous story. Most definitely. And, um, and what he's doing by him going over to play ball overseas, and as you, ramping him up to go be a professional player, which he's already that, but the thing that, that he has you, you know what I'm saying, to just help him be better. Man. That's an amazing thing, bro. And I just want to say this, man. I I will be the best trainer ever. Mm. However, my approach is a little bit different. I don't approach it like I am the best with you. I want to grow with you. So if I'm training you, I'm not coming to you like I know right. everything, whatever. Right. Let's learn together. Got Let's it. grow, because it's Got something it. you can teach me that I can teach you, and as we grow, we build that relationship, right. it's, it goes a lot further than the skill on the court. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So tell me this, what, what ages do you start at? <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when you start walking. Okay, okay, so so <laughs> so it's one of those things, and so do me a favor, tell everybody how they can um, not, we're gonna give them the Instagram, all this stuff will be, um, it's gonna be right here anyway, but as far as, um, what is it that you do? From the developmental aspect of the, of the player to, you know, what they can expect. You know, how long so the my, sessions be. If you can tell those people right there so that. my acronym I use is LIFE. L-I-F-F-E. So it's just an acronym of uh, what my training encompass. It encompass life skills, which is the L. Uh, IQ, IQ on the game, but also in life. Mm. Uh, faith, mm. fundamentals. Mm. And fundamentals is everything from the base, from shot mechanics, from ball handling mechanics, from defense mechanics. And it is empowerment. You know, so I want to use this as a way to bring you in to teach you things you can use outside of basketball. Right. Right. So my, my sessions are 70 minutes. 70 minutes. The first 10 minutes is, is a scripture and a prayer. And then from there it's 50 minutes of work or 60 minutes of work. You know what mm. I'm saying? Because you got after the 10 minutes, you got 10 minutes of warm up and then 15 minutes of straight work. And then it goes from stationary drills, which is ball handling, shot. Uh, Shot mechanics, and it goes to dynamic movements, which is based off cones, and then we do live work, which is basically like DA shows and stuff like that. So mm. uh, it's, it's kind of it's pretty structured, but you're gonna get yeah. that word first. Okay. I gotta give I gotta give God His grace first before I start the thing, because if it wasn't for Him, I wouldn't be here. I know, know that's so right. That's that's pretty much how I go. You know? Okay, all right, well, cool. Well, I'm gonna go ahead. Um, I'm gonna let you get to your client. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave you mic'd up if you don't mind. That's cool. And then um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna position stuff out of your way. So. Um, so you can do what you gotta do. Bet, bet, bet. All right. We appreciate you. Yeah. What's crazy is he had just asked me to fall. And we said it wouldn't fall because it shouldn't have fell. Right. Give me a little more separation on that. You can go back or you go side. But if you're gonna stop, if you're gonna pull, and stop and then go make sure you got square uh, your square base because you're doing this kind of like this and then you're going because when you come back if you do it boom 
Make sure you square because they back up. You want that shot. I always ready to score at all times if you stop it. But I really want you to go straight through it. Once you pull, boom, I'm going all the way through, downhill. Pop, boom. You kind of stopping at the top. So, we're gonna go that way. So, boom, boom, pull, and go straight to it. Straight into it. Yup, exactly. Exactly. Fresh life, fresh life. Yeah. Hefe, pop up. You can't pay me what you want, you gotta pay me what I'm worth. I'm bopping in the game, and I came out of dirt. They saying he got game like I'm Jesus, so the word. They saying he got game like I'm Jesus, so the word. I came out the game, man, I came out the dirt. I'm bopping in the game, and you know the pain hurt. They say I got game like he Jesus, so the word. They say he got game like he Jesus, so the word. Huh. Jesus, so the word. Huh. Like I'm picky, diamonds on my neck and my wrist like I'm picky. Diamonds on my neck and my wrist like I'm picky. Diamonds on my neck and my wrist like I'm picky. Shining on the ice in the middle of the hickey. The chick around me, man, she look like Pinky. But I don't eat pork, boy, I ain't 